Hey guys, okay, so this is my Instant Pot Vortex Plus machine, and this is an air fryer. I just wanted to show you guys that I got this and I did an unboxing of it, but I wanted to show you a recipe, me doing a recipe. So let me show you the inside. Here's the inside of it. It has room for two trays. I have another one over here. And it has a regular full tray here. And these two are like griddle style, you know, open. And it also has a rotisserie stuff. And I'll be showing you the rotisserie and everything later. But for now, I wanted to show you what I'm fixing to do in it. So in order to get started, I'm going to hit air fry. Now wait and see how many time the time on it right now is about five minutes, which is about right. And I'll go ahead and hit start and it's gonna warm up. And then in a little while it'll tell me to add the food. Okay? So let me take you over here and I'll show you what I'm gonna put in it. Okay, what I've done is I've taken two bell peppers and, and you, you may be hearing the machine over there. It's warming up. And here's the two bell peppers, and here's how I did that. All I did was cut them into some one inch slices so they're into rings. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on here. And these will get cooked first. And then after they cook for just a little while, then I'm going to put my stuffing in it. And what this is, um, I've got mushrooms and onions, about a half a package of mushrooms, about a half of a white onion, and then this is a package of roast beef slices that I got at the grocery store, and I just did them into chunks and spread them out, and this is just sauteed in a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter. And then I added some garlic powder, some seasoning salt, and a little bit of ground black pepper. And to go on top of it, will be, I have a few pieces of provolone cheese, and I have a little bit of pepper jack left, and that's going to go over the top. And if I need anything else, I've got some cheddar to go on that. So what, right now, I'm going to take these um, pepper slices. Here's my oil. And I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in my hand. Just a little bit of oil in my hand like that. And I'm just going to rub these with oil. Now, if you're doing this and you do not want to add extra oil, then you do not have to. But we're doing low carb, and there's no reason why I can't use the oil. When that goes off, then I'm going to put these in for um, a few minutes. And then I'll take them out and I'll just put the stuffing on it and put that on it and I'll meet you back. Okay, now it beat to tell me to add the food. And I had this tray out. It was not warming up in there or else I would have had to use a hot pad. But I'm going to put it on that middle tray right there. See, there's room for another one there. And then it'll just start up automatically. And it's good. It's set for five minutes. But I can go up or down on this. And I can also turn on the light if I want to see how it's doing. Okay, now it's telling me to turn it, turn the food. So I just kind of use my tongs. They don't really look like they need to be turned over. They're fine. Let it keep going. So we're 
we're getting close. I wanted to leave it on for you guys so you could hear how loud it was. It's really not very loud. I would say my microwave is probably louder than this is. Okay, now need the hot pad. It's definitely hot. Now I'm going to take this out. I'll close that to kind of keep the heat. And then I'll show you where I put it. Over here on my stove. And I just set a couple of paper towels down. For now, I'm going to take these out and put them in this pan. But there's usually a little bit of grease and stuff on the bottom, so I put paper towels down. And now I'm going to take this foil, because I don't want my stuffing to go out while it's in there. And I didn't put it on before because I wanted airflow up underneath them. mixture down into them. More or less. They won't all be in there. Kind of push it down. This stuff's had a little bit of time to cool while I'm pre preparing the other, so... Okay, if it's not all down in there. And you could do these thicker if you wanted to. This is just the way I chose to do it. Carrie did some of these the other day and I think she did halves or something like that. And it looked so good I was like, okay, I gotta come up with my own version. Carrie is my daughter Carrie for those just new to my channel. Now we're going to do some of the cheese. This is why I did the peppers first for a little while so that they would be partially cooked and then all we're going to do is reheat with the cheese on them. This is the provolone. The other one was pepper jack. Because I didn't have enough alone. Okay, now we're going to go back in. Fits in just fine, even with the foil. Air fry should still be set for five minutes and start and this time I'm going to let it heat up and do its thing and not worry about the add food because it won't take very long it's already it's already fairly warm I'll let you see when it comes out okay guys this was just on the warm-up 
it had just gotten to the five to, to warm up and tell you to go ahead and add the food that was starting on the five. So I'm going to cancel. And evidently now see I've canceled and it'll just be off and that light does stay on all the time evidently the best way to eat these is with mustard thanks for watching guys hit the like button comment let me know if you have got an air fryer and what kind of things that you guys have tried have fun today bye y'all <laughs>